Doc, Doc, is it true you got hired by Tecton to bring tools back from the future? No, we're not going to the future. We're going back to the past. To bring back a rare ratchet design? Where we're going, we won't need ratchets. Hey guys, you gotta check this out. I saw this on Tecton's website. Look what they did. They're bringing back the L handle. Why? This was that thing that used to come in really cheap socket sets. These have been obsolete for like 70 years. Anyway, let's check this out. Why would you want this over a flex head breaker bar? Yeah, it's got a square drive end. Did they go back in time to 1924 to get these? Yeah, attach a socket to the square drive end, see? And then use the long arm to generate more torque. Okay, so it's got a wobble drive on the other end. This is getting a little interesting. You could use this as a wobble spinner handle. It looks like it's the wobble fix style, where if you push it on halfway it wobbles, and you push it down all the way to lock it on. Okay. Maximum torque. So by eliminating the flex head mechanism, it can take more torque. But this only has like a six inch handle, so you're never going to be able to put that much torque on it anyway. Knurled grip. I do like a good knurled grip. Made in Taiwan. Okay. Uh, I don't get it. I don't need a L handle. The only L handle I use is the extending lug nut wrench style. Otherwise, for a breaker bar, I want something with a flex head. I know it's only 10 bucks, but nowadays you can get a whole ratchet for 10 bucks, so you're not saving any money. Unless there's some other application for this that I'm missing, let me know if you find one. Otherwise, I'm going to pass on this. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Bye.